Hey guys, Alex Sturgeon, Hobbytown Hobbyplex here for another unboxing. This time it is of the uh, Team Associated slash Element RC Enduro Trailwalker, their new ready to run crawler. We just got him in finally, and uh, let's take a peek at it, okay? So those of you guys that have watched our previous video on the uh, original uh, Enduro Sendero that came out, um, you're not going to find a whole lot of difference uh, chassis wise between this and that truck. But uh, the big things that really change this up are the body. It is a one piece body, it's not a two piece. It's got the roll cage, um, a lot of attention to detail, so it's got the rear antenna. That's pretty cool. Um, still has your windshield wipers, um, door handles, and then. They give you the mirrors to put on. They're held on with a, a grommet. And you can see right here where they got the holes, or all, well, the, where the placements form at least. Um, obviously, the body is different. And once again, they've kind of, Team or Element RC has chosen to uh, not have a, a fully licensed body, but something that kind of resembles almost a mix mash of a couple different trucks, just like they did with uh, Sendero. So, I don't know, you could say that this is a Ford-ish, but then if you look at it at a certain angle, it's kind of a Chevy-ish, and if you look at it at another angle, it's kind of Dodge-ish. So, you can see right here, the front grill, that is uh, plastic, which is really cool. And again, they give you lights. And then the other thing that I noticed right away on this one, uh, compared to the uh, Sendero, was the bumper. So. The Sendero had these massive bumpers, and I don't know a single person um, around here that kept them on. They changed their bumpers or took them off completely. Well, this is uh, quite a bit more narrow. You're going to be a lot. You're, you're not going to catch up on stuff as much with this one. You can see it's got a built-in fair lead, which is nice, and uh, these little chain hooks here. That's pretty cool. And kind of a stinger. Uh, okay. Uh, the other thing on the Trail Walker are the new 1.5. 155 beadlocks and the new uh, 15 size general grabbers. Uh, these are for the tiny tire class, so uh, class one, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, you know, some of the guys around here that do crawling a lot, they uh, they really like class one. They think that it, they feel that it uh, shows off the better drivers, the guys who uh, can have a better line through whatever they're trying to get through. Um, you can also you, you would also say it's more realistic too, having a little bit smaller tire on there as uh, you don't see too many of our of our uh, real life cars with these big honking tires uh, other than, you know, say monster trucks or stuff that on the, uh, um, you know, rock buggies or whatever you call them. So let's take the body off real quick here. Without scratching it up because this one's going to be for sale. So once again, you get lights that come stock, just like uh, just like the other one that came out originally. And here's your uh, metal geared servo, your uh, um, uh, I believe 16 turn brushed motor, five pole, your Reedy crawling speed controller, and again this one has those extra leads for uh, extra lights or um, extra channels inside of here. Uh, is your receiver where um, if you want to add like a servo winch or something like that you can get away with and again the links one thing that's nice about the enduro uh, got all your metal links down there you got the inserts here the metal inserts on the um, drive line uh, you know I've updated mine I've modified my truck my personal truck quite a bit and with some previous experience from uh, from other brands and stuff, I've kind of I've kind of thought that maybe uh, those drive line would last these center uh, center drives, but they've actually done a really good job of holding up. They have gotten a little bit squeaky, so uh, I've had to take them apart and kind of clean them and, and re-grease them and stuff. Um, but other than that, they've held up really well. So I've been really impressed by uh, just the stock components there. Um, you can see the pan hard mount is here. Uh, on my truck, 
I did eventually break this. It took uh, quite a few, quite a quite a bit of abuse, um, but I did replace that with the hard plastic, and I haven't had a problem since. So, put him back on there, and try not to bore you to death with anything else. You get your controller, kind of your standard everyday, ready to run controller. Uh, your instructions. And then, once again, they give you the, uh, the overdrive, the, ex the extra overdrive. So this already comes with, I think it's 3%. Uh, this gear gets you up to, I believe, 11%, going off memory. Um, if you want to change the body out, they give you the taller body mount. And then, of course, uh, it comes with a shorty pack battery tray. Um, they give you the larger one if you already have uh, large batteries, extra two cells or three cells. And then finally, once again, the coolest thing that these guys do, they have a new garage design. So if you, uh, if you didn't get the original Enduro Sendero and uh, you don't have a garage for your workbench yet, uh, if you get the Trail Walker, you get more of like a, like a home garage. The Enduro Sendero had the almost um, like commercial garage, you know? This one's more just like at home. And this is really funny. It's Crystal Pepsi. That's hilarious. So, there you go. That's, uh, that's what we got for the unboxing for the uh, uh, Element RC Enduro Trail Walker. And uh, yeah, it's looking good. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, subscribe, like, tell your friends, and uh, we'll make another video for you soon.